Hello, I'm Ian and I'm the Vicar of St Matthew's, just sharing a midweek thought with us all uh, for the beginning of Lent, because uh, this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, which is when Lent begins. And it is called Ash Wednesday because um, Christians sometimes place uh, a sign of the cross in ash on their foreheads on Ash Wednesday uh, as a mark of penitence as they remember Christ's death for us on the cross. And uh, Lent runs for 40 days. Uh, and this uh, reflect the 40 days that Jesus spent uh, fasting and praying in the desert. So we begin Lent this week. And uh, I have been reflecting on uh, the book of Proverbs recently in some of my readings, that book of wisdom uh, by King Solomon in the Bible. And there was one particular one that struck me in terms of um, Lenten reflections for me this year. It was at the beginning of chapter 28 of Proverbs. It says, The wicked man flees, though no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. The righteous are as bold as a lion. And it made me reflect on whether I felt particularly bold about being a Christian these days, because living the Christian life requires courage and boldness, uh, because followers of Jesus Christ will inevitably face opposition. And uh, genuine uh, uh, faith, someone said, requires holy boldness. But I don't know if you're like me. Sometimes I don't feel very bold about it. Um, it's, it's hard sometimes to stand up for your faith. We were reflecting on this at St Matthew's last Sunday when we looked at the Apostle Paul standing firm for his faith as we reflected in uh, the book of Galatians. But it is hard, isn't it? It is tough. And it can seem that in... Um, our culture, uh, Christian faith and the good news of Christian faith and Jesus Christ has been largely forgotten. And uh, how do we restore confidence in that? How do we share God's story, which is the greatest story of all time? How do we share it with boldness? Well, this Lent, uh, I'm going to be um, taking something up. Um, and uh, I know sometimes in Lent you, you give things up. The aim of that is to help us reflect on what Jesus has given up for us. Uh, but as part of my Lenten journey, I'm taking something up. And I'm going to be reading a book. And it's um, a book recommended by our Archbishop, Justin Well, before Lent. And it looks like a really cracking book. So I'm going to do a little bit of a book commendation to you uh, for this midweek thought. And it is called Living His Story. Living His Story. It is by someone called Hannah Steele. And uh, this book is all about helping us recover confidence in the greatest story of all time. And it goes right back into scripture to encourage us, reminding us of what Jesus and his disciples were doing. They were sharing the greatest story of all time. So may I commend this book to you. Uh, this Lent, or other ways for you to reflect on how, as a Christian community, we can recover confidence in sharing God's story. The Church of England's own reflections, which are available online or uh, via an app, um, or by these little booklets, is all about helping us um, reflect on God's story and our story as part of that story. So, during this Lent time, uh, uh, may you recover some of that boldness and I'm going to be praying for myself uh, and for all of us that we recover some of that boldness to share the greatest story of all time with our culture, with our world, with our communities, with our families, with our friends. God bless you as Lent begins. Thank you.